unfortunate boobs ever. <laughs> Don, a little bit of a stick figure here. Howdy. <laughs> My stick people have scoliosis usually. This one's coming out pretty nice. So I am here with Zane. And he is like the most insane mad drummer. You're how old again? I am 18 years old. He's like, oh, somebody's sitting on his laps, alright. <laughs> um, oh, so you're having more hair. Yeah. Hey, it's one of the actual lesbians. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to draw right here, but I can't. Oh, you're left-handed? Should we switch sides? Um, I mean, that's okay. I just, I really am not very good at drawing at all. So how long have you been drawing? I have been drumming since I was eight years old. Oh my god, our position are like fall. Okay, that's ah! fine. Go ahead. You might be good. Oh my god, I'm like. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, I've been drumming since I was eight years old. Jesus Christ. And I'm 18 now, so that would make nearly 10 years. 87. So, uh, who are your inspirations? Uh, my inspirations really are uh, a number of people. I'd have to say John Rice from Job for a Cowboy. Uh, let's see here, Joey Jordson from Slipknot. Dave Sylvia from Corn. Basically any 90s music because I was born in 93. So anything before that. Um, let's see here, Pink Floyd's drummer. I completely forgot his name. Uh, Led Zeppelin. John Bonham. John Bonham. That's it. <laughs> uh, really, music in general has been my inspiration because it's a way to release yourself from the earth and just kind of really forget about all of the mundane bullshit that we all have to deal with here. So that's my inspiration. It's just really meditating behind an instrument, whatever it may be. So, um, would you agree when Marilyn Manson said that music is one of the most spiritual things you could ever do, be if you're singing or playing an instrument? Oh, yes, I completely agree. He nailed that on the head. See, to me, it's, it's part of you. It's, it's a creation that you've made. Whether you're writing the music, you're playing the music, you're putting part of you into that work. Exactly. And I believe that we are all ourselves and that there really is no higher power, and there really is no devil. They're just an all-seeing eye that's going to steal your soul. So, yes, exactly. Whatever you create is your own destiny. You don't need to have anyone tell you what you should do. So what are your hobbies? Because obviously music. Um, let's see here. Eating a lot of food. Um, cooking a lot of really good food. I love cooking. I'm not doing your house, man. Um, let's see. Uh, thinking of cool designs to tell Jesse or some artist because I can think them up, but I cannot put them on paper or into a computer whatsoever. But thinking really is a nice hobby of mine. I like to stay inside of my own head most of the time. And, you know, just hiking, getting out into the woods, getting lost. That's easy to do here. Straying away from civilization. Those are my hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. I'm sitting here going, my legs getting tired. <laughs> um, well, damn. What's your favorite food then since you like to cook? Oh man, let's see here. I like a lot of fish, different fishes and different proteins. Anything that I can kill and skin and gut. It's a favorite food of mine. I like tuna. Seared tuna is usually one of my favorites. Um, steak, London uh, boil, brisket, ribs. And yeah, I'm a your place. I can I can cook it all if I think of the right way to cook it. But usually, sometimes that's just an experiment. But if it's another animal, I'm gonna eat it. That's what I usually like eating. Vegetables are cool too. Yes, kids, eat your fruits and vegetables. So is bread. I mean, I really like experimenting with food and just cooking all sorts of stuff. If it smells good, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you could have any drum set in the entire world, it doesn't matter the price, what would you have? My own. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've worked very hard to get my drum set to where it's at, and, and I've had... A lot of a lot of help to get it as well from other people. 
like you behind the camera. <laughs> Don't you roll your eyes. But yeah, um, really, you know, it's you. You make do with what you have. If I could have an awesome Giganto drum set, it would just be a really awesome, huge custom drum set from Fatty Custom Drums, and I would have Dennis make a 13 to 14 piece kit that I could just swivel around in 360 directions with cymbals everywhere and different electronic pads for different sounds. I don't know, right now I'm pretty set with a, a simple five piece kit though, that's, I, I can make do with what I have right now. Uh, obviously with your skill you can make do with just about <laughs> anything. This kid is absolutely wild. Thank um, you very much. I, I have not seen even some 20 and 30 year old guys that have been drumming for years with the talent that you have. So It's all up here. You don't have to worry about being good or sucking or shit even. Just go out there and slam shit. Yeah, just go out there and slam shit. You know, it's, it's all up here. You don't have to think about it. It's really a a feel. You, you feel everything, so you can feel drums. Doesn't matter how you feel them, just feel them. Unfortunately, because I'm very short, and while I was, you know, rocking out to the music, so the camera's not too steady on the clips that are going to be spliced in between and the extras that I'm going to have on here for you guys. Um, it was hard to see you in the back. I was trying real hard, but it, you know, I was rocking out. Uh, I mean, I. But you could definitely be heard through the whole building. There was. There's no way you could not hear this tiny guy back here beating the shit out of it. It's, he tore it up, so. It's, uh, that's, that's what I like about drums, is I'm not really seen. I don't like to be seen. Are you shy? I've, I've been seen a lot throughout a lot of things that the band's been through, and now I kind of like to stay in the shadows. And I'll, I'll say what's up, I'll talk to you, but um, I don't usually know you. I can try to get to know you, uh, but that's going to be really hard because I don't have a physical or mental attachment to you. But it doesn't matter. You can still say what's up. Yeah, it's all about just enjoying the show and having a good exactly. time. Exactly. Most certainly. And making sure that you have a good time as well. Always have a good time at our shows. I think, at least from what I've seen, that everybody had a blast. So. Exactly. Well, everyone is as sick as us. I woke up a little bit sore the next day. I hadn't moved my head like that in a while, so... Well, that's that's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We really enjoyed it as well. Is there anything you want to say to your fans? Um, just keep being sick as us. That's, that's really all there is, is. Everyone else is as sick as us. Just be sick, as always. <laughs> Stage, like you just have this like complete almost like a, a dominating but not like a negative way just wild stage performance when you get up there you're just like in that moment and is that from the music is that from the um, energy of the crowd that's just getting used to it I used to not even move I'd hide in the corner of the stage and just stand there so that's I remember you said you were shy lot. very I'm a very shy person so, well, you don't seem like it on stage at all. I mean, it, it's domineering a presence. It really is. It's, it's a phenomenal show. Jeez, um, now I'm getting dog hair on me. Ah. 
So you've got a toy. What is that toy? This is my beating stick. Beating stick. Have you required that? That one? Particularly? I, not this one yet. Yet. <laughs> but the guy holding the camera needs to take me to do that very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that too eventually. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Don't stand near me. I'll probably cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I've got a question. It's going to be a completely random question, right? So, okay. But it's kind of, you have to pick one or the other. You can't, like, come up with another answer. Would you uh, rather fight Mike Tyson, or would you rather speak like Mike Tyson? I'd really get knocked out. <laughs> that's my consensus <laughs> with it true. as well. So, I've been asking some people that, and I think that that's a pretty yeah. interesting answer that everybody's like, I would rather get my ass beat, so. Ass beat once, <laughs> and talk like that for the rest of my life. Yeah. I'll definitely go with getting my ass kicked. Yeah, that would suck. Um, so you guys are working on some new songs, uh, how many have you guys, like, written so far? Um, probably around seven total now. We actually just ordered a new equipment to start recording, so we'll be putting new tracks up soon. That's cool. And, uh, how, how many tracks are you guys going to be actually making in completion? Um, six of them. Six? Okay, so. so you have to pick the cream of the crop there? Yeah. Uh, It'll be interesting. What are you looking forward to with the uh, the new set that you're doing? Um, just how much the music's changed and just to see everyone's reaction to it. What's your favorite part about being on stage? Just getting to play. Just getting and to people play. enjoying it. Now, are you the same as you are on stage when you're interacting with other people? Or are you like the same person or is it like a completely different completely person? Completely different thing. Completely different? Yeah. So. And one of the other guys had said that too, so I just, I find that interesting because some people are completely the same and some people are entirely different, so, I mean, when you're performing, you can't, you can't really be sitting back in the corner like, because ah, yeah. that doesn't put on for the crowd and get their energy going, which will just feed back to you, so. Yeah, the crowd feeds off of the band too, so. And, uh, let's see, you guys have toured all over actually, because I found out quite a bit of the East Coast you guys have done. Um, and that you have a show coming up in like two weeks, or two weekends from now, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure all the specifics on that one, though. So, are you guys going to have that up on your Facebook and stuff? Yeah, the everybody? date's already up on the Facebook with all the details. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, I can't remember all that stuff either, so... <laughs> I was just told earlier this afternoon, I've already forgotten, and I'm like, damn. So I'll make sure that I post a link for everybody to be able to get to you guys' Facebook and all that. Um, who have been some of your musical inspirations? Um, a lot of the bands I listen to, After the Burial, Winds of Plague, more of the offbeat method. That's the second time I've heard that name in like 24 hours. That's <laughs> fucking amazing. Like, well, I'm like, who the hell is this? And apparently I've been missing out. I don't know. So Yeah, probably. <laughs> See what happens? Work all the time and then don't get to give all the good shit. Um, well, is there anything specifically that you want to say to your fans? Do we have a chance? Um, come out to shows and punch someone in the face. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Just, hey, I got my mic, you know, it doesn't help load, unload, you know, it's, I've done this shit before, it's how it goes. <laughs> well, what's been, like, the hardest thing, with, like, give an example of the, one of the hardest things you've had to do with these guys. Uh, ship the opening bands when it's time to pay them at the end of the night, 
generally. Sometimes I gotta just walk up and give them their forty dollars and be like, "There you go, good luck getting back home." So we got the doggy fighting going on. <laughs> so, so you get to basically be the asshole. Yeah, sometimes I gotta be the asshole. You like that part? I'm good at it. <laughs> I've got some training. What's been uh, okay? Then, like, what's been one of the worst experiences? Uh, Someone ever punch you for like going, here's 40 bucks? No, 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 that, that's never happened, but you know, we've driven way out to like fun fuck South Carolina to play a show and the sound guy's drunk and you know, bands don't show up, so we unpack all our shit, figure that out, and then pack it all back up and leave without playing, you know. Shit like that sucks because they all get really pumped about doing a show and it's kind of disappointing when they don't don't actually get to go perform, so stuff like that's probably what gets me the most. Um, all right, let's see if have some random questions to ask now. Favorite movie? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yes. Oh, I love some Tarantino. Oh yeah, Tarantino's God. the shit. I shot Marvin in the face. <laughs>